the fifth cranial nerve, the trigeminal nerve. The fifth cranial nerve is divided into three parts, ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular divisions. The mandibular division of the nerve is a large nerve. It exits the skull through the foramen ovale. You cannot see the foramen ovale here because the nerve is passing through it. You have motor and sensory branches. One major sensory branch is the inferior alveolar nerve, which enters the mandibular foramen of the mandible and provides the innervation for the mandibular teeth. A second major sensory branch in this specimen in close proximity, and normally also in close proximity with the inferior alveolar nerve, is the lingual nerve, which provides general sensory innervation to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. Another major sensory branch is the auriculotemporal nerve. This nerve passes laterally out of the region of the, ter of the infratemporal fossa, passes laterally and behind the mandibular fossa and the position where the mandibular condyle is seated. The nerve passes posteriorly and will pass up onto the side of the head and innervate skin in the region of the auricle and also on the side of the head. There are several motor branches from the nerve. We cannot see those here. The motor branches innervate the four muscles of mastication, which are normally in here, the temporalis muscle, the lateral pterygoid muscle, the medial pterygoid muscle, and the masseter muscle. A last branch of that nerve is a branch called the buccal branch of the trigeminal nerve previously known as the long buccal nerve. This nerve provides sensory innervation for the lateral wall of the cheek and the skin on the surface of the cheek.